There's a famous combinatorial mathematician at MIT named Richard Stanley, member of the National Academy, a very distinguished guy. And he's written a, uh, several advanced books. But in one of them, he has a, an appendix in which he lists applications of the Catalan numbers, where these things keep coming up in strange and weird ways. And over and over again, it turns out that something is counted by the Catalan numbers. Let me just show you one of them. It has to do with the idea of parenthesizing an algebraic operation. Any computer scientist should be acutely aware that when you are communicating with a compiler, you must very routinely carefully parenthesize an operation because many operations are not associative and you can't be moving the parentheses around. And you might write your code in a way that you intend the operation to be done one way and the compiler doesn't listen. It has its own rules for how to interpret them. So in computer science, we never list an operation like one variable star, another variable star, another variable da, 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 star. Okay, no, no, no. That's, that's, that confuses the compiler. You have no idea what it's going to do. Because the compiler is going to do these things two at a time. Which two? So now you have to parenthesize it. And if you have four, then there are five ways to parenthesize it. And I've illustrated them there. Is it clear what I'm talking about with this idea of parenthesizing? Expression? It's clear that all of those are different. If the, if the x's were not numbers, but were like matrices, some other, something where, where you could get weird answers, you know, some non commutative, non associative operation, then all of those could be different answers. And of course, uh, there are 14 ways to do uh, 5 because that's the next Catalan number. 42 for 6, etc. Okay?